name is Salem Moore and the title of my introductory speech is called Close Your Eyes and Jump. The great theological poet of the Christian faith and wise writer of life, C.S. Lewis sagely wrote, If you never take risks, you'll never accomplish great things. Everyone dies, but not everyone has lived. In light of this commanding and gentle nudge to live uncomfortably, I am reminded to learn from my mistakes and trust God in everything, especially the risks. My purpose today is to share three stories from my past showcasing the different moments I took risks and learned from my failures and successes. As each story progresses, I hope you get to learn more about my unique traits and the places I have traveled. I will be using personal stories throughout different seasons and stages of my life to hopefully captivate all of your attention and bring back a sense of nostalgia of your childhood memories. I'm first going to tell you about a time when I was nine years old and thought of riding in a shopping cart as reckless fun. The next story will be when my car got towed. I was 17 years old, abandoned with no phone, alone with bickering brothers, and far away from home. The last story will highlight a special time in my life when I decided to not go to college and apply for a school called Youth with a Mission. Childhood risks looks like mixing stunt double danger, some good old sugary ice cream, and a couple of bored pastor's kids. It was a Saturday afternoon when I was nine years old when my friends and I were waiting for our parents to finish their last minute office work in the church building. The church I grew up in was located in Seattle, Washington, right off a of main highway where homelessness was prominent and empty shopping carts lay around unused. Oddly enough, the sun was out and my friends and I just had some ice cream. With sugar coursing through our veins, we ran outside to scratch that frantic itch to play in the sun. All Pacific Northwest kids craved year long. As the sanctuary doors flung open, we saw the coolest, unhinged, and most risk-taking fun idea. Behold, a shopping cart lay at bay. Immediately, we grabbed the cart and ran it at the top of the driveway, which fortunately was a steep hill, and we had the noble idea to get into the cart. My friend Elijah, the oldest boy in the group, volunteered to go first. After he was settled in the basket, my brothers and I grabbed the handle and started pushing the cart down the hill, charging the pavement with no hesitation, living for the thrill. Sadly, the reward of unsupervised foolish behavior resulted in my friend falling out of the shopping cart and tumbling out of the basket at the bottom of the hill. In the end, Elijah was taken to the hospital only to receive three stitches on his knee. After recalling this memory, I learned it is okay to take risks within a community, to, sur to surround oneself with friends, and to be vulnerable in front of people when you fail. Taking risks with people who are committed to your growth as a person is like a natural guardrail that won't let you slide completely off the cliff. Teenage risks look like losing a car and finally paying for the consequences of your decisions. When my family lived on Oahu, Hawaii, my brothers and I often went to the beach together. One day we wanted to go to the other side of the island with bigger waves and fewer people. I picked my brothers up from school in my island beater car and we drove two hours across the island to get to the windward side where the cooling palm tree breezes never stop and the sun continuously shines. Like most crowded cities, Oahu streets never had parking. So I bravely decided to park in an upper class neighborhood. After I parked in front of a house, my brothers and I grabbed our towels taking nothing else. We ran straight to the beach and swam and played in the water till sunset. We eventually made our way back from the shoreline and approached the street I parked on. To our reluctant surprise, the car was gone. My brothers started bickering and raising their voices in anxiety because our phones were in the car. Without any other choice, we proceeded to walk for 30 minutes and found the closest establishment, McDonald's. From there, we borrowed a phone and I called my parents. As soon as they heard, they immediately got in my dad's work truck vehicle and drove across the island to come pick us up. 
Along the way home, my parents gave me lickings, and eventually I found the correct towing company that impounded my car. Late into the night, we approached the junkyard, and I paid an enormous fee to access my car again. As an older sister of two younger brothers, my siblings did not let me down for this mistake and ignorant risk. The moral of the story is to only take risks when you are committed to taking on the responsibility of a failed outcome. As a teenager on Oahu, risk taking was inevitable. Therefore, the fruit of my exploration and development led me to grow as an individual by taking responsibility. My third point, as a newly turned 18 year old, my plans after high school were dimly lit. Yet, I was on my way to explore missions and enroll within a six month program called Youth with a Mission. The morning came when I had to drive to the airport and launch my independent journey of pursuing God and missions. I was headed to Kona, Hawaii to enroll in a three month discipleship course that would, that would equip me for a three month outreach in another nation. As the sun rose, I was sitting in the terminal, terrified and anxious to be away from my family for the first time. I had never been to Kona, and I certainly did not know anyone on the base I would live with on. I remember holding back tears and rethinking my decision. Despite my fears of the unknown and feelings of loneliness, the Lord encountered me and gave me the strength to board the plane and avoid looking back. Five years later, I can proudly say that was one of the best decisions of my life. By stepping out and risking comfort, God molded and shaped my identity during that time of learning. At the end of the day, every young adult has a moment in their journey when they have to choose to run into new territory and pioneer an adventure that will lead to self-growth despite the pain of failure. Risk taking as a young adult looks like jumping into the deep end of society, not knowing if you should cry out for help or learn how to swim in the depth and breadth of life's challenges on your own. Today, I told you how I grew up as a person from taking risks. The main things I learned from my past experiences of exploring, including include surrounding yourself with a community that will support you through risks being willing to take on the consequences or rewards from the risk, and most importantly, letting the training wheels off, trying something new independently. Hopefully you have an idea of where I am from, the places I have lived, the size of my family, the role I play as an older sister, and my desire to never let fear hold me back from God's purposeful, beautiful plans. All in all, C.S. Lewis, his warning, is that life is not lived unless you surrender passivity and let go of comfort and take risks. Thank you for sitting through and watching this video. I hope you got to learn a little bit more about me.